Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today. For this video, we have something a little bit different and I have to admit, this is a video that I never thought I would have to make uh, on this channel. Um, you know, I've been doing this channel for 11 years, doing beer, brew pub and brewery reviews, meet the brewery videos, all of these kind of things. But uh, yeah, I've never felt the need to make a video quite like this one until now. So this video is going to be about a brewery here in Singapore. I am over here for a holiday. I am, you know, as I always do, I'm filming some out and about videos on location because that's what I like to do when I travel in addition to seeing all the kind of touristy things. But uh, yeah, I had a very, very interesting experience at Pink Blossoms Brewery here in Singapore. So I'm going to tell you guys about it. Um, so yeah, uh, I've written a little statement down here on my computer, which I would have posted on Google reviews, but it got a little bit long and Google didn't like the character limit. So let's make a video and post the link to the video in the Google review. So yeah, um, the channel has been going for 11 years. And for all of you who watch the channel, you know that the basic goal is to showcase beer from different parts of the world that isn't so easily accessible. And in the case of Singapore, um, the craft beer scene is still very much in its kind of infancy and developing. So um, before I came to Singapore, I posted a little thing in a Facebook group called uh, Singapore Craft Beer Enthusiasts and just said to people, you know, where should I go when I come to Singapore? And uh, I got various recommendations, which I have been following since I arrived here uh, a day or so ago. But one of the places I was recommended was Pink Blossoms Brewing, which is the brewery this video is about. Um, but yeah, I already knew this uh, this brewery from Untapped because I went through the list of national breweries uh, of Singapore on Untapped, which is a great tool, by the way. I would recommend that you do that. So this being my first time in Singapore, I was quite keen to visit the brewery tap rooms and make videos to promote these local breweries. And, uh, you know, Singaporean beer just isn't so accessible outside of Singapore itself. But uh, Pink Blossoms Brewery is located in the east of Singapore, uh, about a one and a half kilometre walk from the uh, Tai Seng MRT station, and this area is called Kampong Ubi. But the brewery itself can be found uh, in the bottom left hand corner of an industrial building. And I arrived at the brewery at about 5 pm, an hour after it opens on Thursday, the 28th of March. 2024. So at the point that I arrived there were five people in the brewery tap room and I quickly learned that one of the people that was there was the owner. There was a table of guys, uh, three guys enjoying a couple of beers and then there was another guy sitting behind them who was you know working away on his uh, on his computer. So uh, the owner was actually sitting on the table right next to the door uh, eating a McDonald's um, which you know didn't really think anything about that at the time but I went and walked up to the bar and um, this guy who I didn't realize when I walked in was the owner he kind of scrambled round and went behind the bar McSunday in hand and uh, I noticed that there was a paper behind him stating that they only accept cash and pay now as payment methods and um, I explained to him you know, I don't have cash and this is normal in Sweden Scotland many countries these days a lot of people just don't carry cash i don't um i prefer paying with my card or uh, my phone or whatever and um pay now is a local app in singapore which not a lot of people do um so at this point he explained i could pay via transfer wise and i was like all right okay i have transfer wise i can certainly do that and uh, i added him as a recipient in my um, in my TransferWise app. And I was like, right, okay, that's cool. I can pay for the stuff. That's not a problem. Because I explained to him, you know, I'm a tourist. Like, you know, what if you don't accept Visa and MasterCards, this is very difficult for tourists. Um, and that seems to be a bit of a thing in Singapore, actually. But anyway, um, so at this point, 
um, a number of other customers started to appear and so I just said to him you know serve these guys I'll sort out my payment stuff and uh, when he returned I explained to him you know I do a YouTube channel and the idea of this YouTube channel is to promote craft beer and you know I'd like to make a video that shows the bar a little bit shows the merchandise shows what you have on tap and obviously do some beer tastings and um, his response was like I really don't feel comfortable with the impromptu things on social media um, I won't stop you it's a free country um, and in my mind you know I was quite surprised at this because normally um, in the breweries you get a response of oh sure cool go ahead let me know if if you need anything and so on so this guy being like really awkward and uh, saying oh I really don't feel comfortable with this and I was just sitting there in my head thinking right this is a bit weird like what's you know what's going on here but um, at this point he scampered off to pour um, some other beers and I stood there a little bit dazed and confused just you know because the response was so unusual and you know, I was struggling with the heat of Singapore a little bit as well, as any Scottish Swede would. And um, so I decided, like, I was like, right, okay, I'm going to hold the camera and I'll film. I just filmed the tap list and showed, you know, the beers that were on tap, which was quite impressive because there were 19 uh, beers on tap there and pretty much every single one was a different style. So that's one of the positive things about Pink Blossoms Brewing. They do have a variety of, uh, of good beers but I thought alright okay I'll just film the tap list when I've got a minute and he's doing stuff and do that and you know uh, I can use that in the video if I am going to make one a little bit later so I did that and uh, yeah maybe I was wrong because he said oh I'm really uncomfortable with this but you know in my head I'm kind of like right okay what you normally get is that the person will say oh I'm not really comfortable with being in the video myself so just tell me if you want to film something and I'll get out of the way that's very common and you know that's absolutely fine so uh, yeah uh, the thing that was going in my head was uh, you know maybe this guy just doesn't understand what I want to do so he returned to me a few minutes later and asked if I wanted to drink and I just said to him look you know I find this really weird I filmed all across the world. I listed a few countries, you know, like Germany, Poland, Scotland, US, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Korea. And I said to him, like, you know, um, this is, I said, this is just really unusual. Like, I want to make a video that shows Singaporean craft beer that you can't drink in other places. And I've been told your beer is good. So I want to make a video and talk about your beer a little bit. Um, and the response was, it's like, oh, I told you I was uncomfortable with it and you filmed a bit anyway. Um, you know, even, you know, what is the point in you even asking for permission? Like the bar is a bit messy and if it's shown on a popular YouTube channel, then uh, I could get fined by the health inspector for having my ice cream behind the bar. Uh, why do you have such an entitled attitude? This was literally the response that I got. And um, I was just sitting there like, you know, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? So obviously this is a lot to take in. And my first thought was like, you know, if you're so insecure about the health inspections, why are you, are you not creating and maintaining um, standards in your own bar and keeping them consistently? You know, I worked in the service industry in Sweden and this was one of the things. I loved this. I loved working in, in the whiskey and the beer pub in Malmö. And, um, you know, this was one of the fundamental rules. You had cleanliness standards that you always kept. So this guy is basically admitting to me that he doesn't have uh, cleanliness standards. And, like, he's not, um, you know, he's not making standards that he sticks to. So I'm just sitting there like, yeah, this is really weird. Um, and, you know, the thing regarding entitled attitude, as he called it, um, it's funny because if you read the Google reviews of this place, he likes to use this word, entitled attitude, about a lot of his thing. Uh, uh, you know, if ever he gets a negative review, he just calls the customer entitled. This is his thing, the way of, uh, you know, justifying his own egotism. But, um, yeah, um, I could understand the comment uh, regarding entitled attitude if I went in and asked to get beers for free which is something I would never do, incidentally. I know some beer YouTubers do this, but I would never do that myself. Um, I actually would have been quite happy to spend quite a little bit there. As I say, I had 19 beers, and I was actually, when I was looking at the list, I was kind of struggling to think, like, you know, where do I start here? There was a rice lager, there was a sake ale, 
there was um, a sweet stout, there was a quadruple, um, a few different IPAs and things like that as well. I was sitting there thinking, right, where do I actually start with this beer? There's a lot of good stuff here, a lot of things that I would be very curious about. So I would have spent, you know, I probably would have spent well over a hundred Singaporean dollars there. So that's like, you know, 50 pounds sterling at least. Um, I would have had a good few and the beers were being sold in American pints and uh, I think 330 milliliters as well. So, you know, I would have tried uh, a good few of these. I would have stayed there for a good few hours and <clears throat> tried quite a few different things. So, um, yeah, this whole experience was just a little bit weird. So um, I just said to him, I was like, look, this is, you know, I think you could tell from my face because I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? Um, and at this point, I think he realized he'd messed up a little bit. And he said, like, you know, I'm happy to serve you a beer. I feel uncomfortable if you come all this way and drink nothing. And at this point, I just said, like, you know, nah, you've um, you've got a reputation around Singapore for not treating customers properly. And I heard this from various people in Singapore um, prior to going here. Um, you know, people from lots of different bars, other breweries around the country. Um, yeah, I was told that this guy is just a little bit of an, an arsehole, which proved to be the case. But, you know, I wanted to go into this thing kind of open-minded. Um, I love channels like, you know, P -P -P Peter, the, guy, the Slovakian guy who goes around and reviews all these worst reviewed places. Um, you know, so, you know, I always go into places with an open mind, but in this case, the bad reviews proved to be the case. Um, so I just said to him, look, you've got a reputation around Singapore um, and I don't want to support your business in any way if you're behaving like this. Um, and if you continue to behave like this, I, I told him straight to his face, I was like, yeah, you're going to lose business if you behave like this. And um, you just got the very stone-faced response. So probably he realises this, but um, his ego won't let him admit it. So the response I got was, well, if you heard this, then why do you come here and behave in such an entitled way? This is literally the response I got. Um, and I said, like, dude, if you behave this way, you're going to lose business and you've just lost mine. And at this point, I just left. Um, so at this, at that stage, I was uh, I, w I left and I walked about two kilometers down to uh, locality. And um, we'll talk about locality in a minute. But um, the man mentioned in this review, the one who I've been talking about, his name is Hohan Tail, and I know that because I still have his um, uh, recipient details in my Wise account. So he is the or one of the proprietors, and it seems that um, yeah, he just has a very large yet kind of extremely fragile ego. And as I say, I've spoken to people in um, other well-respected and uh, large kind of craft beer places around Singapore, you know, different bars, different breweries, things like this. And the general consensus is that uh, he makes, he makes this, the, the quote, he makes decent beer, but he's a cock. You know, that's it. That seems to be the general consensus about uh, Hohan Tail. But if you go through the Google reviews and you look at the lower rating ones, a lot of these reviews are kind of repeating what I say, uh, what I've said in this video. So this is not an isolated instant. It's not me targeting a brewery, as he might claim. Um, you know, I like to keep my reviews positive. I want to support local businesses and small businesses and get the word out there a little bit of them. The whole point of me wanting to make a video at Pink Blossoms Brewery was so that people coming to Singapore who, like me, are craft beer enthusiasts, would go there and have some idea of what to expect. Because I know people that have gone to the little brew pubs that I have filmed at in Germany and you know they've known what beers they wanted to try because of my videos that's the whole point of me making these videos is to share my love of beer you know it's a way for me to remember the beers that i've tried and uh, it's a window into different parts of the world that some people might not get to visit that's the whole point of rampant lion reviews but um yeah um this whole attitude he has of accusing customers of being entitled is to me, it's just so foreign. I mean, I've encountered 
having worked in the service industry, I have encountered the odd um, entitled American, which is always quite interesting to deal with. But, um, and I, I do wonder when I make a video like this, do I seem like some kind of entitled customer or whatever? But in this case, I really don't think so. Um, and there are several things that kind of back it up. But I just wonder, does this guy, does, does Hohan Teo have such little self-awareness? Or is he so narcissistic that he just doesn't care how he treats customers? It, it's, that's the, the million dollar question, if you like. But, I mean, no amount of projection or accusation is going to com uh, compensate for the failure to treat customers you know, decently and realise that customers are the lifeblood of a business. Um, I just have to ask, what is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with him? Why treat customers like this? Um, but yeah, my advice would be stay on the, the Singapore MRT for another two stops and uh, go to locality. But a one and a half, one kilometre walk from, uh, from the station. But if you go to locality, go down into the basement. It's a little bit hard to find, actually, I have to say. But go down there. The owner is lovely. You'll meet some really, really nice people who love the Singaporean craft beer scene. I tried beers from three different Singapore breweries. Unfortunately, not a lot of the Singapore breweries seem to be canning their beer at the point of filming, which is um, the very end of March 2024. So, uh, yeah, I went there. I tried beers from uh, Alive, who are very highly rated, uh, Osmanthus, and uh, Sunbird. I tried uh, four beers there and they were all extremely good and locality was awesome. The people there were great. Uh, yeah, that would be my advice. Instead of wasting your time and going to Pink Blossoms, go to locality, give them your business instead um, because it is much more deserved. Um, but yeah, this is the thing, you know, craft beer is a very small industry and it seems that people around Singapore um, know this guy's reputation and uh, they just, they, they, you know, he has a reputation already. He's, he's not going to do himself any favours. Um, so, yeah, I think I've said my piece about uh, Pink Blossoms Brewery here in Singapore. I would much rather have made a video at the tap room where I was talking about the beers. Maybe I would have included Ho Han Teo. Uh, in the video and talk to him, you know, tell me a little bit about your beers, why did you start the brewery, you know, asked him all these questions and got him to explain to me, but no, he decided to act like a complete arse, and uh, this is the video that you get instead, so, um, yeah, um, his behaviour isn't hasn't gone unnoticed, and it will not go unnoticed going forward, so all I can say to uh, Pink Blossoms Brewing Company is, um, is good luck, because you're going to need it. If you treat customers like that, um, you are certainly going to need all the luck you can get. Because um, in locality, there were quite a few people who were telling me, oh yeah, um, there are a number of people in the craft beer community in Singapore who are banned from Pink Blossom's Taproom because they've said things about his beer and said that some of these beers are not as good as other ones that he's done. So obviously there is a lot of egotism. In, uh, in Ho Han Teo and uh, yeah this is it's an interesting thing like I say I would much rather have made a video at the brewery uh, talking about the beers doing some tastings for you but yeah this is my review of uh, Pink Blossoms Brewing Company unfortunately I went in and uh, didn't get to try any of the beers. That said if the opportunity came up to get a can of one of the beers because there were cans there but you know with the way I was treated I was not going to hand money over to these guys. Um, I would buy it from one of the independent bottle shops in Singapore, definitely. But yeah, I wasn't willing to kind of pay money for a can of one of the beers um, after after that kind of behaviour. But if I ever got a hold of a can of Pink Blossoms beer, I would give it an objective review and tell you properly about the, uh, the quality of the beer and things. Because like I say, I've heard he does good beer, but he is just a bit of a cock. So yeah. That's it. So yeah, the basic message of this video, as is in the title, don't visit Pink Blossoms Brewing in Singapore. Go to one of the other breweries or one of the other bars. Go and visit Smith Street Taps, which is in uh, one of the, the classic hawkers here in, uh, in, here in Singapore. Or go to one of, the little, one of the little island venues, which do really, really nice food and solid beer. Um, you can go and visit Locality as well. 
um, and there are other places around Singapore. But yeah, don't give uh, Pink Blossoms your custom because you know their attitude, they don't deserve it. So yeah, 20 minute review of me kind of, I guess, describing my experience here in Singapore at Pink Blossom Brewing. So yeah, could have been a much different video. Would have been a much better video actually if we'd uh, got to taste the beer. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. Check out my social media. Don't give any business to Pink Blossoms Brewing Company. And uh, in the next few weeks, you will see my out and about videos that I film here in Singapore. So yeah, catch you guys soon with those. Until the next time, slanja, skull, cheers. See you guys later. Ciao just now. Waiting for the response from this guy because I know he's going to respond. <laughs>